Shalom and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. What is the money in Hebrew man? The biblical story tells us that the manne is the heavenly bread that the sons of Israel ate in the desert on the way to the land of Canaan, the promised land. But since the Bible is not a history book, what does the Bible refer to? Before we answer this question, let's frame this conversation and decode few terms. Egypt, Mitzrayim, Enas, is a place of conflicts, trouble, mechanical actions, with no intimacy, with no connection to the root, without a secret. What you see is what you get. Many screens, a lot of noise, but no relation. This is Egypt in us, and every person wants to leave Egypt and reach the land of the one, land of Canaan, tree of life. But we cannot jump. We have to cross a process which is called desert. We have to cross the desert until we reach the land of the one. But in this voyage in the desert, we need to have some kind of a nourishment, a heavenly nourishment. And what is this nourishment? The Bible tells us. The manne. In Hebrew, man. The word man is written with two letters, mem and nun. The volume of the letter mem is 40. The volume of the letter nun is 50. Together they make 90. Now, according to the book of Exodus and, and according to the book of Numbers, the money was given once in the evening and once in the morning. What do we do with the number of 90, which is the volume of the word man in Hebrew? We divide 90 in two, and the result is 45. 45 is the numeral value of the word Adam, which is human spirit or the divine spirit. So, what is the heavenly bread that we are eating during our voyages in the human desert? And the answer is the man. Our nourishment is the human spirit once in the evening when it's getting dark and once in the morning when the sun rises in the evening, we eat the aspect of wisdom because wisdom can illuminate in the dark. In the evening, it's getting darker. So in the evening, we are nourished by the wisdom of the Torah, by the wisdom of the Bible, by the wisdom of the Heavenly Spirit. And in the mornings, when everything illuminates for us, we are nourished by the grace, by the good deeds of the human spirit. So this is the manne, or this is the meaning of the word manne in Hebrew. Another aspect of the manne, the word for desert in Hebrew is midbar. The volume of the word midbar is 246. When we deduct from this number the volume of the word man in Hebrew, which is 90, we get a numeral value of 156. 156 is the numeral value of the name Joseph, Yosef in Hebrew, but also 156 is Six times the tetragrammaton again, 156 is six 
times the tetragrammaton. Six in Hebrew refers to the sixth letter in the Hebrew alphabet, which is Vav, and Vav always refers to the spirit. Another aspect of the number 156, it's also the value of twice bread in Hebrew. The Hebrew word for bread is Lechem, Lechem. The numeral value of the word Lechem is 78, and they ate the heavenly bread twice in the evening and in the morning. So 78 in the evening plus 78 in the morning is 156. So from every angle that we take those words or those value, we come to the same conclusion that the manne in Hebrew man is heavenly bread which is nourishing us during our long walk in the desert sometimes it nourishes us with wisdom sometimes it nourishes us with grace and each and every one of us is nourished by the heavenly bread according to their needs sometimes we need wisdom sometimes we need grace and this was our little conversation about the money or the heavenly bread that we are nourished by in our voyages in the humanly desert on the way to the land of the one have a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.